me. Amen, right? So I have something for you. Does anybody know what this is right here? It's a baseball glove. That's right. How many of you have played baseball before? So just about everybody, right? Right now is baseball season. So for my baseball fans out there, they're very excited right now, right? And if you drive by the park right now, you see a lot of little boys and girls playing baseball or softball out there. And that's exactly what our story for today is going to be about. Today, our story is about a little boy named Jimmy Potter. You see, Jimmy loved baseball just as much as any other boy. And so him and his friends would get together and they would play baseball in this empty lot. And every day they would meet after school and they would go and play baseball. And Jimmy always wanted to hit a home run, right? Everybody wants to hit a home run. So he would practice every day. And on this very special day, he and his friends went out to play. And Jimmy remembers just grabbing that bat and just hitting that ball as hard as he could. And that ball went flying. He said he hit it so hard he felt it in his teeth. And he started to run to first base. And when he got to first base, he heard something. He heard a very loud crack. What did you think happened? That's right, the ball hit something. Can you guess what the ball hit on that day? Not a car. Close, not a fence. A window, that's right. So the ball hit a window on that day. And that is when Jimmy stopped running. He was very scared. And all the boys looked around at each other and they knew what happened. The ball left the lot and hit the window in one of the homes. So Jimmy's friend Justin said, oh no, we gotta run, let's get out of here. And all the boys ran away, except for Jimmy. So Jimmy stays back and he starts to wonder, what do I do? Do I run like my friends did? You know, if I run away, nobody's gonna know that I broke that window. And then I won't get yelled at by the man that lives in that house. And I also won't get yelled at by my parents for breaking that window. But Jimmy began to ask himself, is that the right thin thing to do? Should I run away or should I go and tell the man that I was the one that broke his window? So Jimmy's, tell the man, that's good advice. And so Jimmy started to walk to the house and he was very scared. He knew the man would be very mad because he broke the window, but he also knew it was the right thing to do. And you know why Jimmy did it? Because when Jimmy thought, what if I run away and no one knows, but what does that say about my name? You know, Jimmy's last name was Potter. And they lived in a town where his name was respected and it had been in his family for a very, very long time. His dad, his grandfather had been to war and everybody knew he was a very brave man. And his dad owned a grocery store in town, the Potter's Grocery Store. And his dad was known as an honest and kind man. Everybody knew that if somebody was down on their luck and they didn't have money to buy groceries, his his dad would help them. And he knew that his family would be disappointed if he did something to bring shame to the Potter name. So he walked up to that window He walked up to that door and knocked on the man's door. And this big, strong man came out of that door and he said, who broke my window? And Jimmy said, I did, sir. He was afraid, but he was going to be brave and honest, just like his grandfather and and father taught him. And he said, and who are you? And he said, I am Jimmy Potter, and I will replace your window. And the man told him, yes, sir, you will. I know your name. And now I know where I can find you. And he said, on that day, he he told them, I am going to save enough money and I'm going to replace your window. And on that day, he went home and he talked to his dad and he told his dad he would work in the store to make enough money to replace this man's window. 
And even though he did something wrong, you know, it was, even though it was an accident, he accepted responsibility for what he did, and he did something to correct what he did. And he did it because he didn't want to bring shame to the Potter name. So when we all come here, we all also have a name, right? We are in the house of God, and we call ourselves Christians, right? And that name means a lot, too. We want to honor the name of Christ. And if we call ourselves Christians, we have to represent who? Who do we represent when we call ourselves Christians? That's right. We represent Jesus, which means that when people look at us, they should be able to see Jesus in the way Jesus is described. So I'm going to talk to you about what the Bible says about who Jesus is. So in Revelation 19.11, Jesus is called faithful and true. So when you think about these things, is that how your friends think of you? In Matthew 1.23, it says Jesus' name is Emmanuel, which means God with us. When people are with you, do they know that Jesus is living in your heart. Jesus is also called the light of the world. That means Christian people are supposed to be happy. We are supposed to brighten everyone's day, right? Are you, are you happy and are people happy to be around you? Jesus is called the rock, it says in 1 Corinthians 10.4. That means he's strong and he provides solid support. Are you a strong friend to your friends when they need it? And finally, it says, Jesus said that he was the way as well as the truth and the life in John 14, 6. So the question is, when people see you, do you point them by the way you live your life to Jesus? So in today's story, we learn from Jimmy that even though the Potter name was very important to him, the Christian name should be very important to us in the way we behave, the way we treat others, the words that come out of our mouth, and we should all be honest and kind, right? It doesn't mean we're not gonna make mistakes or accidents are not gonna happen just the way they did with Jimmy, but it means we have to accept responsibility and make up for those things, right? And I'm very proud of you because you, you said that you do represent Jesus, right? So today I am thankful for that. So let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for today's children's story, that even through a child's story, we can learn the importance of representing you in the right way, Lord. We as Christians here today, Lord, promise to use your name in a, in a positive way. Send your Holy Spirit so that we, as Jimmy did, when we do make mistakes, we accept responsibility for them and heal those relationships, Lord, that we may be the, the light of the world and that we may shine bright and bring happiness to those around us, Lord. May we represent you in a good way, Lord, to bring others towards you. And in this day, we pray that you send your Holy Spirit because we know it's hard to do these things and we can't do these things without you. We pray for this in the name of your son and we all say, Amen.